Hello everyone and welcome to my new channel on YouTube. Today I will share with you how to set up HDRI in 3ds Max with the Chrono Render. So let's begin. Before I started I need your support from you so all you can do is just subscribe my channel so thank you very much. As you can see the first step is to find a car. Normally if you want to have a good results, a nice render, you need to use a turbo smooth. What is a turbo smooth? It's a nice tool to use more detail in your project. For example yeah, I can show you when is on uh, and when is off turbo smooth. As you can see, we have a nice circle. Without turbo smooth, we have a bad circle. You see the difference between Turbo smooth is on and off. After the first step is done, you need the light. So go to the menu, rendering, environment, environment map, and find Corona bitmap. After this, you need to grab Corona bitmap to material editor. Before setting up HDRI, I want to give you a type or advice on lighting. What HDRI to choose? Because lighting is different when it comes to interior and exterior. In this project, we will use a HDRI for exterior from the site hdrihaven.com. On this side, you, have, you can find a lot of high-quality HDRI and they are ready to use for anyone because they are free. After you choose the HDRI you want, go to Open, click OK, and wait till the open the HDRI in your material editor. So, this is how it look. This is normal, it's good. We need to test before change the settings. How is luck? You see, the car right now is flying. But what we need is shadows to make more realistic. Next step is very important because in this step you complete 18% your project. So here you go, you need first to create a Corona camera from the both side. First, you need to create in front of the arm, go to the Standard and Corona camera. Create first front your car and behind. After we create a Corona camera, we need to create new material for Corona shadow. So go to Material Editor, get material, find Corona shadow. After this, go to rendering, environment, grab HDRI to Corona Shadow or apply. OK, click OK. And after this, need to make or, or to create a plan to apply Corona Shadow.
select plan and apply. After we finish the whole process, we need to see what we have done. So go to the corner under setup and start interactive. Now, as, as you can see, there is a problem here with the plan and Corona Shadow, but we can fix. Go to the Material Editor and go to the Projection Mode. Uh, change from Screen Projection to Environment Projection. Now, the problem is fixed. Go to the Camera. It's very nice. So thank you very much and see you in another video.